to these haters that don't bother me. But what blows me is when certain people turn phony. They say, Rob, I got your back. Rob, you the man. But they really doubting me. Bitch, you know who you are. Bitch, I bought you a car. Bitch, you stayed at my crib. I loved you with all my heart. Now, I don't like to brag when it comes to me. But I've given back to the community. From the non-profits to the charities. But of course, you never hear that about me. To them niggas that drink my liquor and smoke my stogies. How come you ain't on Facebook taking up for me? When you're around me most of the day. And you know that I'm a good brother. Always got your hands out, it ain't no doubt that y'all niggas ain't nothing but blood suckers. Plus, y'all ain't bringing nothing to the table. Yeah, nigga, and you know it's real talk. Taking pictures with me for your Instagram, but when I need you, you. Get the bag, get the bag. Y'all niggas know what it is. You know we get the bag. Now I'm pretty sure for those who've been following me for quite some time, we can summarize a lot of the information that I put on public display for a reason, especially when a lot of the information was broadcast during R. Kelly's trial. However, the media wanted to pick and choose what it wanted to run with, and everybody in this so-called YouTube sector is confused as to why a lot of these janky-ass sources coming to YouTube always got the side eye for me, especially when they want to give all these stupid-ass story times that didn't make no damn sense metal in the midst of a federal investigation divulged too much information when it came to the so-called case being manufactured and exposed to us the levels of corruption individuals are willing to participate in in order to keep their secrets behind closed doors. But what happens when all of these janky ass people just can't shut the fuck up and they get on these platforms volunteering so much information that led people like me down this path unraveling all the lies and deception that was put on public display in order to get robert kelly charged with these janky ass charges hide behind these new laws being passed for survivors and sugarcoat the fact that all of these so-called accusers were grown as hell and being led to come out and publicly expose certain information without recognizing what it reflected upon all of the accusations being waged against Robert Kelly. People overlooked how no matter how many so-called accusers they lined up and tried to wage these accusations with, it only gave me more reasonable doubt to question a lot of these janky-ass people that surrounded themselves around Robert Kelly, question why prosecutors weren't holding so-called enablers accountable as they first initiated, and how everybody want to skip around this RICO where only Robert Kelly is being charged as he himself comes out after the fact and tells people to simple thing that I said from day one when it came to this janky ass so-called manager who in my opinion helped facilitate a lot of these racketeering charges. Now, when the man himself comes out and tell you this man was never his manager, what does that tell you about this whole 
bullshit ass trial in which I specifically made mention the feds not a certain things to Robert Kelly. Therefore, all of these goofy ass people on these platforms are clearly trying to keep people distracted from all the bullshit they put on here and forgot people like me screenshotted and recorded for a reason.